Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Joshua Coverson Show. This is episode 101. I'd like to thank y'all for tuning in to all my episodes. I really appreciate y'all's support. And before we begin the episode, I'd like to say at the end of my episode, check out my sponsor sheet. We have seven wonderful sponsors sponsoring the Joshua Coverson Show. So check out our sponsors at the end of the episode. And now for our special guest of the day, he graduated from West Craven High School in 2015. And now... He's just touching money in all type of ways. He's a music artist dropping music. He's in barber school, about to be a travel barber. He's a promoter, party promoter, promoting some of the best parties out here in New Bern, Greenville, Jacksonville, man. Check him out. My special guest for today, no other, the one and only, Dante Nelson. How you doing, little bro? Hello. Yes, sir. How you been, bro? Chilling. Yeah, <laughs> chilling. <laughs> that go right, man. So, man, talk about how you grew up, man. Before we get into you, yeah, all you, all the things that you're doing in life right now. Talk about how you grew up. The earliest I can remember, man, my mama moved us to Clarksville, Tennessee, way out in Montgomery County. I was out there, me, my mom, my two little sisters, and they fought. Feel me? We was out there. It was nice for a little minute. They got divorced, mama find another boyfriend. I really looked at him like a father figure. He was from Detroit, you feel me? Uh, I got close with his kids, his two sons, you feel me? After that, my mom sent me back to North Carolina to live with my grandma like fifth grade. Went to James W. Smith. That was James W. Smith, West Craven Middle School. Bounced around again, went back to Tennessee seventh grade with my mom. Then we moved back to North Carolina when I was in eighth grade. Yeah, man. 10th grade, 9th, 10th grade. I was here in North Carolina, West Craven High School. Then my mom got engaged again. Moved to South Carolina with her husband. Hey, you got to my Then moved back because that didn't work out with them. Graduated from West Craven. You feel me? Graduated. I lived out in the country with my grandma on Dog Pound Road, you know, Highway 55, all that good stuff. Yes, sir. In the country. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Life is good, though. All that moving, all bouncing around, state to state, school to school, having to make new friends, having to get right back accustomed to the old friends and all that stuff. Yeah. How was that, man? How was that mentally on it? Was, it was it was a lot, but I'm a people person. So it's easy for me to make friends with people. Mm. Easy for me to talk to people, catch a vibe. You know, if I if I feel like your vibe ain't that, then we can't kick it. But yeah. As far as that, everything was smooth though, for real. I don't have no trouble trouble with making friends or talking to people I don't know. You feel me? Good conversation, laughs. You know, it's all about good good energy. That's a fact. So you never had no problems like going to a new school. Like this your first time at the school, like just picking up conversation with people or just introducing yourself or somebody introduced you. Never had no problems like that? Alright, so like when I moved back to Tennessee, seventh grade. It was crazy. I had a neighborhood best friend when I was in elementary school. Haven't seen this guy in like, I want to say like three, four years. Never knew he was going to end up at my school. Seen him. My best friend since a kid. Seen him. He lived right around the corner from me. That hit it right there. He started introducing me to everybody. And I just, we just locked in. That's when jerking was back in style. That was jerking. Oh, right. then y'all were doing all the dances and stuff. Yeah, we were jerking. Did everybody know I used to dance for real. You feel That's me? a fact. That's a fact. Locked in with him. You feel me? And it just took off. When I moved to South Carolina, making new friends out, it was a little different. Because that's a different state. You feel me? I don't know nobody. But I want to say, like, in the first, the first week of school, I was really that dude for real. Because I played football. So I was at summer workouts and all that, you feel mm. me? So I came close with the boys. And I know a lot of dudes, you feel me, D1 right now, and then went to the NFL. I got a homeboy that transferred from Coastal Carolina out there to a t you feel me? Jamaine, you feel me, Martin? It's a fact. I got a young boy. He got a twin brother, uh, Jawan. He played Jawan Moody. He played for uh, Alabama right now. Young boy got two, two rings. Hey, two rings. That's two. His twin brother playing uh, South Carolina State. You feel me? 
I, I've been I've been been around I've met a lot of people. <laughs> That's a fact. That's a fact. So first thing first, man. How I want to say how you get into music, but kind of you you was a kind of dancer growing up. So how so how did you start taking music seriously? What made you start taking rapping seriously? Honestly, when I first started rapping. Me and the homies, we be sitting outside in the truck, you know what I'm saying, doing what we do. And bro just played the beat. We outside live in the truck. It's like one o'clock in the morning. Started freestyling. Freestyling, going, going. Bro was like, yo, you don't rap for real? I'm like, nah, I just, you feel me? When I be in that zone, I'm in that I mean, zone. That's that fact. You feel me? They be like, nah, bro, my bro Ike. That's his name, Ike. You feel me? He live in VA now. Be like, nah, I'm taking to the studio tonight. Call the dude. Feel me? Be like, pull up. Pulled up. I made a whole song off of freestyle. Verse, hook, off of freestyle. But back then, when I first started rapping, he got he got me to rapping for real. I wasn't that nice. But I freestyle. The more I freestyle, the better I got. They say you when you write, you get better. That's true too. But when you freestyle, you get ten times better. And then I want to say it was 2020. I was like, nah, I'm actually too hard. So I, I got to take serious. And I done, I done tapped in. I done found my voice. I done made songs for females. I done made songs for the streets. I done made pain music. Like, I'm not just a rapper, though. You feel me? Hey. I'm an artist. I feel hey. you, you make it. You make it in the music industry being an artist. Some people, you feel me, being rappers, they, they quit for a little minute. But if they not an artist, you can't switch it up and talk about something else in your music, then you fade. Fact. I can't be one of them. That's a fact. That's a fact. So right now, any local artist you want to do a song with and why? For real? I did a song. I done, I got music with Stoney J. I got music with A1 Chuli, you feel me? My, my boy Super, that's my Facts. dog. Super on the move right now. Shout out, Facts. shout out TTG. You they feel on the move me? right now, man, for real. I want to get a song. I got a song with Weez, Ray Weez. Okay, facts. Damn I got right. music with C Note, High Risk, High Risk, Cool. Facts. You feel me? He, that's a fact. Me and him tapped in heavy right now. Like everything I've been doing, he been on. Uh, let off. You feel that's me? Fair. High risk. I'm the tap in with high risk. I need a feat with V. I need That's a feat with V. Hey, v man. Got brown to it. Hit him up, man. You hear my boy, man. He need a feature with you, man. Come on, dog. Hit my dog up, man. We we, we both be on the road, so I know how that go. That's so we fact. just got to find the time, for real. That's a fact. Uh, Chulo. Stay out here. Uh, stay out Pembroke. I need a feat with Chulo. You feel me? Who else I got to tap in with? That's really hard. There you go. Right? It's a lot of hard youngers out here right now. Young moving, boy, man. Young boy, he, he locked up right now. But uh, 23 JB, my boy, my boy 23. That's a fact. I need him on something because he is crazy. He is, he different. That's a fact. He different. Hey, y'all tap in with my brother, man. Y'all him, man. And he, he crazy hot right now, man. Y'all better tap in with the bro, man. For real. I got it. One song with K Stylist, dude that made all the twerk music. Thanks. I made up a dance to go to that. That went viral for a little minute. But if I would have got on TikTok, I probably would have blew up. Probably I probably would have blew up. Dang on right. Dang. TikTok booming right now, man. And, and I ain't even gonna lie. It I ain't still too late put either. The dance on TikTok. I'm about to say it ain't too late either. I can still put a dance on TikTok Thanks. and go up for it. Cause the dance was smooth. I had Newburn on Smash, Raleigh, Greenville, Greensboro. Come on, man. They were well, doing you got, yeah, you gotta put that back up that day, man. You gotta let the world get back up. Facts. For real, man. That might blow up. Nah, no cap. For real, man. <laughs> for real. People was telling me like, yo, you drop so much music, but you don't got no visuals. I was like, you right. Cause people really get looked at on visuals and videos. So tagged in over our first video with Los, Loso, you feel me? From that's the backwoods, that's cuz. It wasn't good quality, but it was out there. We got over a thousand views, like 2000 views on that video. You feel me? That's but then I started looking in the other videographers and I dropped right now I want to say I got like six seven videos out right now 
Feel me? Shout out Smite Sweet, but that's my new cameraman. Shout too. out, man. Greenville, Green North Green. Carolina, man. He's the best. I ain't gonna lie. If it ain't Smizzy with the Glizzy, we can't get busy. You <laughs> that's a fact. <laughs> that's a fact. Hey. No hey. So how did you go from music to want to be a barber? To want to be a promoter? Like, tell it, man, because you got so many... You in so many lanes right now, man, where you just killing it right now, man. So this talk about it all in one, man. Like what what got you just doing all this stuff, man? Like what 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 motivates your grind? My babies. My kids. I got two little girls, two years old, one about to be no, three years old, about to be three this year. And I got a one year old about to be two this year in July. Then my son will be here in April. Congratulations, big dog. That's yes. all right, man. Like my money ain't my money no more. My money, my kids, man. That's how I look at it. Feel me? Because now I'm living for y'all. I ain't living for myself. Got that third kid. Feel me? Ooh, first boy? Yeah. Ooh. So how has it been raising two girls? It's, it was pretty easy for me because growing up, my mom, she had to go to work like five in the morning. If she didn't have time to do it, I had to do both. My little sisters had to go to school, you feel me? Yeah. Do their hair, you feel me? Make sure they get dressed and we all at the bus stop. And I'm and I'm in like third grade, fourth grade, you feel me? Yeah. So taking care of the girls, it, it came easy. Like I know what to do, I know how to treat them, but I'm not their friend, I'm their father. So I'm gonna show them the, I'm gonna show them fatherly love, but I'm gonna also let them know like this world is different. That's a completely fact. different. That's a fact. So with your first boy coming in, how did that make you feel? Like girl, girl, boy. This is I know I know you wanted a boy. I know you finally yeah, here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so it's girl, girl, now you finally get the boy. So how how does this make you feel having your first boy? And how do you think you want to give back to him? And will it be different? Will you think it'll be different raising him than raising your girls? I think it'll be the same, but I have to be more firm as he grow up. Because me growing up, I didn't have my father at a young age. You feel me? I met my father when I was about third grade, seen him like one or two times. Then I seen him again when I came to North Carolina for the summer. That was like fifth grade when I finally moved down here. Then I actually tapped in and got in tune with my pops, like ninth grade, 10th grade. I started staying with him. But I, I had so much resentment, you feel me? I didn't want to, but I didn't know him yet. I gave him a chance. That's really my, that's one of my best friends, for real. My pops, one of my best friends. He, he didn't tell me nothing too late. He didn't tell me nothing too soon. He told me what I needed to know. And he always kept it high. That's so bad. me raising my son, I'm going to give him everything I didn't have from a father at a young age. That's a fact. That's a fact. So what's next, man? I don't even know what this is. You're doing everything now, man. I'm sorry, but what's next, man? Promoting, man. Rapping, promoting, barber. Okay, so when I first started promoting, I started hanging around somebody from Greenville. It's love to Shiggy. Feel me? He he been there. You feel me? I ain't never talked down on. Even though we ain't cool right now, we ain't talking. You feel me? He started me out. He got me out of jail. He bonded me out. My bond was high. He been there. Like Thanks. we stayed together in my crib in Raleigh. We was always together every day. I said, "Shit, why can you do this and I can't?" Why can't you make this much money? And I can't. Yeah, I can't make, do the same facts. We were still in the same promotion group. We did events together. But I also did some of my own. My very first birthday party. December 23rd, 2020. So you was planning on branching out. You were still doing it with him, but you was also branching out on your own. Yeah. My very first party. I had him promoted. December 23rd, 2020. And I had somebody else from Greenville promoted. Um, Ronnie. Ronnie Montana, he a big college promoter in Greensboro. You feel me? And now three viral, years later. Viral. First party viral. I want to say 
low cap, I hit a million views in a day. Facebook was supposed to pay me, but it was like the content that I had up there was too exclusive, so they didn't wanna, you feel me, go through it fast. From there, I took off. Started booking artists from Big Scar, Money Moon, uh, Rich Homie Quan, who else? Uh, Cali, man, so many local artists. Like we do local artist shows. We done did baby oil wrestling and swimming pools. We got the exotic dancers and the parties. I mean, I've been, I've been a lot of people. Tapped in with a lot of people. Shout out Tim Boss. Tim Boss came to have a lot. He, he came through and showed us love. Tapped in with Cognac Gunner. He one of the hardest promoters in Jacksonville, if not the hardest promoter in Jacksonville. Feel me? Tapped in with LG Shakur. He from out in Goldsboro, Smithfield area. For making noise, man. Feel me? Like everybody tapping in, everybody making money. If it ain't about a dollar, then what is we doing? That's a fact. That's a major fact. So before we end the episode, I got one last question for you. I don't know if you be tapped into the NBA like that. But all these trades going on, who you who you betting on to win it all? You know I'm a basketball fan, man. Who you betting on to win it all? I'm going to keep it hot. I don't even know. I, mm-hmm. I, I know my team. They wait, got, wait, wait, wait. Who your team? The Grizzlies, man. Oh, okay, you like John Morant? Okay, but well, you you in the fight? Like ja, ja, he got a lot of work to do. He got Dang. his team right. You feel but, me? but you in the fight though? Yeah, I'm Boy, in God, there. They got a chance. I'm in there. I'm in there. Dang, all right. They got a chance, man. For if, real. If, if if my team don't make it, I want Brian to get another ring. Oh. And I'm not I'm not even a Brian fan. So so why you not a Brian fan? Because I know KD ain't going nowhere. KD, my favorite player in the NBA. You know, he's got traded to the Suns. Yeah. And they got to make some shape because if not, I really believe Brian going to take it home. For real. I believe Brian going to take it home. But they just made some some adjustments, so they got some shooters around. Hey, he just got to stay healthy, man. Facts, because they got the young boy. They got the young boy that's really hooping right now. What's his name? Start with a C. I don't know how his name. He a, he a rookie. He come in hooping though. He's shooting. He's driving to the foul line. For the Lakers? He's going crazy. He came in off the bench and dropped like 24 the first game I watched him. I got to look his name up. Look his name up right now. Look his name up, man. I'm I'm stuck that I don't got his name in my head right now. The young boy be hooping, man. Man, but you know they just made some trades. He's still on the Lakers right now. He gotta be. Gotta be, man. And you want Bron to take it home? Yeah. I mean, Bron's my favorite I'm player, gonna... but I'm riding with the Warriors. <sighs> Bron, my favorite player, but if I had to bet my money on anybody or any team, I'm going with the Warriors. Going to Warriors. I'm going to Warriors. Uh, Max Christie. Oh, okay. Facts. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Max Christie. He's okay. hooping. He's okay. hooping. Uh, okay. He's he pretty good. Okay. I, I, I rock with you. Okay. Braun makes some trades, so hopefully they can get it done, man. But they had to get Westbrook out of them. Yeah, that's a fact. I agree with that, too. Yeah. Patrick Beverly, too. Yeah. I agree with Now they got a chance, but AD got to stay healthy. Facts. I mean, I ain't going to lie. The Warriors, they just can't. I'm telling you, man. So now there might problem. be a problem. There might be a problem. I got the Warriors, man. <laughs> but there y'all have it, y'all. That's the end of the 101st episode of the Joshua Coverson Show with my guy, my cousin, my family, the rapper, the artist, the barber, the pr- promoter, anything you want him to be right now. <laughs> Dante Nelson, <laughs> we out. Thank you, everyone, for watching the Joshua Coverson Show. I appreciate your love and support. Continue to show your love and support by clicking the subscribe button below the video. Tune in to next week's episode of the Joshua Coverson Show. Love, peace, we out.